Hi, Evan Wing with HMA and here at the Middleton Fire District. I thought we've been getting a lot of interest about what ultra high pressure is. So today I wanted to take just a quick moment to really go over what ultra high pressure is and why the Middleton Fire District has had a lot of success with it. And not just Middleton, but we hear more and more stories every day about fire departments that have HMA systems that are getting great stops in their community due to this technology and what we call rapid response mentality. So ultra high pressure in general, what it is is it's pressures upwards of 1100, 1150 PSI, so pounds per square inch at the nozzle. So our systems use very little water, but we're sending it at such a speed that the water droplet becomes roughly 64 little water droplets. So why does that matter? The whole concept there is that you're using every last drop of that water, okay? On larger water, say what's called a smooth bore, where you're sending a heavy volume of water, typically you only get that outer shell of water to absorb the heat, okay? That converts to steam, and then what we see in the form of water vapor. So a smooth bore, that big droplet of water, you're getting about five to 10% of that water used, so converting to steam, absorbing heat, then the rest of it typically goes down to the floor. Okay, with ultra high pressure, because you're splitting that droplet up, you're increasing its surface area. So you're getting upwards of 90% of that water actually being used. So a good example of that is, this is a rapid response vehicle. This is the first out on every single call that Middleton has. And now we have three rapid response vehicles, MTAC-1, MTAC-2, and MTAC-3. And that stands for Middleton Tactical 1, 2, and 3. So as you see, we have multiple tools on here. Everything that we might need to get there faster than, let's say, a full-size apparatus. Now, mind you, that's still coming. We don't just roll this, but we're able to get on scene faster using a rapid response vehicle, a souped up pickup truck, than it is using a full size rig. So the, some of the tools that we actually have on this, you can't really see it well here, but this has 125 gallons of water on it. But when you're using one fifth, one sixth, even one seventh the amount of water to handle a scene, that's significant, right? So that can actually flow for five to six minutes worth of uh, actual fire suppression time. So if you look at the unit, it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a, this is a 3500 Silverado Super Duty truck that we've upfitted with this. So again, with it being out the door faster, we're able to get on scene faster and flow water significantly quicker. So it, it makes a big difference. Part of our district is 54 square miles. That's four municipalities, the city of Middleton, the town of Middleton, town of Springfield, and the town of Westport. 54 square miles where much of that does not have hydrated water, so we have to bring in the water with us. So by getting there quickly with here, and then having hundreds of other gallons and route to help supply this or to make their own attack, that's really a big advantage as to what we see for a rapid response mentality. So that's just a quick video, just some quick thoughts on what this is. If you think that having um, this technology in your community, please go ahead and tag a friend that's a firefighter, or if you think that your local fire department might benefit from it, please tag them as well. We would love to talk to them about why it's worked in Middleton and why HMA does what it does.